Hello guys, this is Ming Fei Chan and with Nier and we're here at MasterCard. Um, I'm here with Quinn from Harmonic Guild. Quinn, thanks for coming. Um, thanks just for wanna, of course, um, just checking in. Um, can you tell us about your company? Of course. Introduce yourself. Sure. Yeah, so uh, I'm Quinn. I'm based out of Nashville, Tennessee. Um, Harmonic Guild is a global organization. We're a decentralized, democratic, autonomous company. We're trying to build a platform to restore power to musicians and uh, re-engage fans in the value of music and music video. And so we're building a protocol that can improve upon the status quo for the distribution of music um, and try to pay artists better, uh, be transparent with payment processing, um, operate as a democracy, and sort of live a set of values that we think uh, musicians will identify with. I really like that because I work with, I'm working in the same industry. Yeah. I work with artists. Yeah. So this is, this is very impressive. How, do you have a musical, like, do you, do you have a background? Are you? I, uh, don't ask me to get on stage and play. I okay. do, I'm, uh, I sing in the shower. <laughs> okay. Are we going to do some singing today? Yeah, if you want to do karaoke, <laughs> let's do it. Let's do we it. We could do that. We could do yeah. that towards the end. Yeah. Yeah, this is impressive. So what makes you think that we need, we need, like, you know. Oh my gosh. This? I mean, musicians are getting a raw deal. Right? 100%. The vast majority of musicians, 99%, yeah. make essentially no money from streaming. They might make some money from merch, some money from ticket sales, uh, but there's no way for musicians to support themselves selling music anymore. Right. Um, and we think that that's unfair, and we think that there, that there is, that the big tech companies are sort of profiting off of uh, their price setting power mm -hmm. and the inability of musicians to um, coordinate, and we're, We've got a system that we think uh, will sort of overthrow this status quo. Would you think that you would take over like record labels and stuff like that, or so you would be a platform that record labels will work with? That's an interesting question. So there's definitely some sort of artificial um, kind of enforcement of power with the big three record labels, um, but a lot of musicians like their labels and they like their label deal, um, and you can have. There are certainly good relationships between musicians and major labels. Not not all music deals are good. Some of them are akin to a predatory loan, um, but some are certainly fine. I would say our biggest ob objective is to create a better alternative to the streaming platforms, whether it's YouTube for video or Spotify um, for audio. This is great. Um, so what is the process? Let's just say I'm an artist, right? And then um, I come to your company. What will you, how will you guide us through like, you know, sure. the whole process of this, sure. so making sure that we get the most out of it. Awesome. Yeah, because so. We, because we, us as artists, we need someone to guide us. <laughs> yeah. Because we want to focus on our music. Of course. So and, that, and that's what we're going after, right? Like, correct. music marketers recommend that you post 35 times a week yeah. per platform. I mean, that's, that's an unsustainable amount of art to be yeah. putting out there on the internet. Musicians want to make music. Correct. Um, and so, um, but, you know, building a streaming platform is an incredibly complicated problem. Nobody wants to go to a streaming platform that has a hundred musicians on it, or, okay. like, or even worse, one musician. Right. So we're focused on solving musicians' simple problems while we focus on, while we're building towards their biggest problem, which is systemic underpay. Right. Um, there are small problems, uh, we just create little services for them. Um, so, good QR code, landing pages, small amounts of uh, data intelligence to understand, you know, what their Instagram is doing. Um, we're also trying to get geography information for musicians to help with their bookings, um, as well as capturing emails, um, because musicians already understand that there's this intermediary between them and their fans, and that can be really challenging. Um, and so, a lot of them are adapting by having email by directly connecting with, with their fans via email. And so we want to help with those sort of simple toolings to kind of build this network and then you know, grow, to the, grow this network and connect the communities that already exist, um, be it managers or, or collectives or, or what have you. Are you only working with artists or are you working with um, musical artists or are you working with any, anybody, like anybody in the industry? Uh, so we're focusing on small, 
sort of independent musicians. Got it. We also are focusing on the rock, sort of folk, punk spectrum, right. somewhat to the exclusion of hip hop and uh, EDM, just because it's a little bit outside of our wheelhouse. Okay. We do service music small businesses, like um, sort of small indie labels, manage manager groups. Um, as well as what we call slash entrepreneurs, um, both taste makers and music journalists, as well as um, the slash entrepreneurs, so like promoter slash videographer, these sort of one man or one one woman um, music small businesses that are that are um, that are sort of you know enabling this this underground kind of operation for independent music. Yeah. So right now, is it operating already? Um, yeah, so we are launching our sort of first MVP, uh, this kind of onboarding and networking product in, yeah. the, in the next couple of weeks. I'm we excited. Got, yeah, uh, we've got a, a version coming out live. It's a long way to work towards the sort of financial, uh, technical, um, sort of economic infrastructure that we're trying to build uh, to improve on the actual payment of right. music. Um, but the simple services and sort of connecting, um, minting NFTs and stuff, yeah, that stuff, that stuff, uh, you know, should be live in the next couple of weeks and, you know, hit us up. We'll, we'll build some cool websites for you. And, I'm excited. And just try to make it easy. I'm really excited. Well, if you need anybody in the EDM and hip hop space, <laughs> yeah, you know, I am. I am the guy. More of a, on the lo-fi side, gotcha, gotcha. but it's kind of okay, kind okay. of a spectrum into R and B. Okay, you know, definitely down. Okay, so, yeah. but we, we're gonna talk. Let's do it. We're gonna that talk. Sounds great. So we're gonna. Where could they find you at? Uh, you can find us at HarmonicGuild.io. Um, yeah. And oh yeah. We're, this we're, is the most important question. Sure. How do you think that Mastercard and Near could help? your company oh my gosh so I make this joke that uh, at the end of the day we're just gonna be a payments processor with a really good play playlist yeah uh, because there's a really sophisticated financial onboarding and financial offboarding associated with the consumption of music right? right if we're paying artists better we have to pay them and they're fickle they even asking an artist to put in their routing number and bank account number is like asking too much for that most is of them. true, and so <laughs> and, and so let me ACH you, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's and private so information. We're just gonna play absolutely whack a mole with like every possible way to configure both onboarding, financial onboarding for fans, yeah. as well as financial offboarding for artists. And so, there's a we've got building this sophisticated payment processing infrastructure mm -hmm. that is in addition to the smart contract infrastructure that we have planned to actually exercise the payments and have transparency in payments. For musicians, right? And where could they find you at again? HarmonicGuild.io. Yes. And so you can follow the journey. Everything yeah. from what platform? Your social media platforms? Uh, yeah. So predominantly uh, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. Uh, you know all the near social stuff, all that. Amazing. Um, active on Twitter. And you owe us a song. Oh my God. No. We're singing. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> We're singing. You owe us a song. Maybe next time. <laughs> Maybe after 11 p.m. Yeah, uh, maybe after <laughs> after a few drinks. <laughs> no, well, no, no, no. Uh, but uh, yeah, maybe come down to Nashville. We'll show you. Yeah, let's show go. You a good time. Nashville, we'll Nashville, Nashville okay. is, is yeah. a big stuff yeah. for music. We'll, so we'll be at Deep I'm Tropics excited. in Nashville. It's a big EDM festival. We're really excited about that. Um, we were at Louisville mm -hmm. uh, um, in Louisville a couple months ago um, with with our partners. Um, so. Uh, yeah, really excited about that. I'm excited uh, too. We're eager to get into the event space. We've got really good onboarding for airdrops and things like that. Um, awesome. Yeah. I'm super stoked. Um, I'm excited. Um, and again, thank you for Nier and MasterCard for having us. And thank you again Absolutely, yeah, thank for you. joining us. I'm excited. Absolutely. Thank you so for much. Sure.